up witches this is nine the hermit if you want to learn more about tarot grab your tarot coloring book from amazon indigo or whichever store you have grab the 78 degrees of wisdom by rachel pollack and the ultimate guide to the tarot and let's join today we are continuing connecting with the tarot talking about the two of swords so if you enjoy this video press a like and subscribe what a hard suit we're doing the swords ouch just the two of swords the three of swords it's not an easy suit to deal with but it's the most important suit that you come out of as a stronger person let's put it that way because you deal with a bunch of hard things and then if you progress well at the end you actually learn some lessons from the suit of swords not an easy one so today the two of swords a couple of times specifically a time when i couldn't decide between two programs at university and i was doing tarot for myself and every time this card would show up for me when i would be like okay which program should i pick this one or that one and i would always have this card like of indecision not moving of being stuck and like being unsure where to go what's the next step that was for me in in this context of the reading let's take a look at the tarot calling book meanings um Sometimes it's difficult to see which way you need to go, so you sit and refuse to make any decisions. Yep. Self-chosen timeout, wait it, wait it out, meditate. So let's jump into the ultimate guide to the Rider weight and look at some of the symbols of this card. Two of Swords. The swords, the weapons of the intellect, are spread wide and extend beyond the frame of the card. The moon and the water stand for feeling spirituality. One can see clearly only with the heart. Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. The basic meaning of this card. The blindfold over the eyes represents a warning against failing to grasp an issue and against holding prejudice. In a positive sense, it stands for impartiality and preparation for seeing things with the mind's eye. For the realm of the mind and, and spirit starts where the physical eye can no longer discern. The gray of the figure. That was actually hard because in my version, the figure is like gray brownish. And this is also gray brownish beige. And in another version of the Rider Waite that was reprinted, it looks more like uh, completely gray so it was quite hard to manage to get this color the gray of the figure neutral objective composed without preju prejudice balanced fair negative clouded thinking unconscious apathetic expressionless the blindfold the realm of the mind extends far beyond the physically visible indeed it really only begins where vision stops, where physical vision stops. Under a delusion, not knowing what's going on, mental activity, lack of prejudice. So there's some positive and negative aspects. The crossed, the crossed arms. The breast contains the heart and according to the widespread opinion, the souls. So she's kind of closing herself at the heart. The islands and the rocks behind her, the islands of consciousness in the ocean of the subconscious, an image suggested by Sigmund Freud. The white patch on the forehead, so above the blind, um, above the blindfold that she has, she has like a, a patch of her forehead, and they put a reference here to the third eye. So there's another shore behind in the card that we can see if we look well behind her. The lack or ability to see the other side, to perceive the unknown and the unconscious in oneself and in the others, and to be tolerant of differences. Let's go to the 78 Degrees of Wisdom by Rachel Pollock and see 
some of the meanings for this card. There's actually a comparison to the High Priestess in the 70 Degrees of Wisdom and uh, she points to some of the differences between the High Priestess and the Two of Swords. Because it seems that at least their feet or their position, they're sitting in a similar position. Uh, but there's other things, so the High Priestess has a hidden veil behind her while the Two, while the two of Swords um, you can see in the open behind it. So the two, in contrast to the Eight of Swords, the blindfold here shows not confusion but a deliberate closing of the eyes. The figure has tied it on herself so that she will not have to choose between friend and enemy, for such choice becomes the first step in once again involving herself with other people. Notice, however, the effect this posture has on the woman. First of all, the crossed arms clo close off her heart and it can be uh, the representation of some blocked emotions. A veil separates the high priestess from the waters of the unconscious hidden behind her. No veil protects the blindfolded woman from her disturbed pool of emotions. A defensive attitude makes us more prone to outbursts, to anger and hysteria. A link, there is also a link to the justice, but the justice only has, only carries one sword for a sharp mind, but she wears no blindfold, preferring absolute honesty. All right. Now, if we talk about the reverse meanings of this card. The balance is lost, so if she was in a position where she, was, she wasn't moving, she was balancing the swords, now the balance is lost or given up. Either the person becomes knocked over by people or problems charging her defenses, or else the blindfold is given up for the purpose of either seeing the truth or communicating. The later experience can prove very emotional, even shattering, if the person does not receive help from outside. And if we go to the tarot coloring book, some of the reversed meanings. Either the decision is obvious or someone else is making it for you. The blindfold is rip, ripped off and reality sinks in. In balance, the harmony is lost. So this was the Two of Swords. And next week we will be doing the Three of Swords. Ouch, ouch, ouch. So see you all next week.